Bombay chook. Can it be cooked? Can it be it? I'll let you know in a minute. chook got some bombay stuff i'm gonna bombay the chook so i'm gonna cook it in the oven it's only a little chook because i'm only cooking for me when are you coming around i know we're in lockdown and everything but when are you coming around come and eat some of the chook with me I'd love you to just come and eat with me it's a really good chook if you can't come over maybe you'd like to try it yourself at home give it a go bombay chook now i'll go and get the bombay stuff and you can take it from there i'm gonna put the oven on 180 180 some people like to have a wine while they're cooking I'm gonna have a Corona. Cheers. Oh, best virus I've had all year. Right, Bombay stuff. Garlic, ton of, ton of garlic, garlic. A bit of a garlic. Squash up one of these. One of these. Did you wash your hands, Jeffrey? With the Solvol, Jeffrey? What if they still make Solvol? I reckon uh, four big clothes should be good. Now, I usually bake in my $800 microwave that's a microwave and everything else in one, but that died on me the other day. Why? Well, as you can see with the new one, I keep the aluminium foil on top. And the other day as I was pulling out some aluminium foil, some of the aluminium foil had fallen into the microwave. So I think I blew it. So I had to buy another one. And that's the one that I bought, which is it's okay technology, it's good. One that I used to have that got blown up, did everything. Wash your socks, call your grandmother, even though she passed away 20 years ago. It would steam, it would defrost really well. It also had the roasting thing. I could roast the chicken in it. So that's a bit of a bummer. I'll call them up on Monday and see what the story is. Maybe it's gonna be $300, Mr. Northcote. If it is, I couldn't be bothered. Well, maybe I will, I know, it's a good machine. Needs clean though, maybe they could clean it up for me. Roasting chickens in it all the time. So grated garlic is the best for this, but you want it, you want a paste. So you don't want to chop it up. That's plenty. I'm going to put all that in there. A good lump of ginger. All right, let's see how nice that is. That'll do. Greek yogurt, tikanes, kala, poly kala. Okay, so what I've got here now is coriander powder, chunky teaspoon. So turmeric, heat teaspoon. Cumin powder, and finally, but not last, some garam masala. A little bit of chili powder is not bad. You've got to be careful though, because it can go a bit nuts. Grate that up as well. You've got to be careful you don't do your nails in. If you're a guitar player, it's the worst thing. No, it's not much, but it'll do. Right, now, we want to do some yogurt, two teaspoons and some olive oil, not a lot. Do you want to make a paste out of it? Let's see how this goes. Oh, look at that, it's perfect already. I'm gonna put a little bit more oil in. Six drops of Essence of Terror. Five drops of Sinister Sauce. So it's pasty. It's kind of like a peanut butter, only crunchy. When the stirring's done, may I like the spoon? Of course, ha ha, of course. So now, what we're gonna do get a lime because I don't have lemons. A lime is going to work better in this case because it's a really small chalk. It's only a 1.19 kilos. It's not a big chalk. So what you can do is get a lime. You want to stab it all over and look out for your fingers, guitar players. This is not the knife to do it with. Now that's going to cook in the butthole of the chalk. Use some rubber gloves, rubber gloves, some rubber gloves and Bombay the chicken. That chicken needs a bit of Bombay. Bend over, doctor. I'm gonna rub all this all over the chook. Simple like, like just like that. And you can get it in the cracks and get it all over. But you really wanna cover every part of it. And the little crusty bits, if you end up with crusty bits, they're really good because they just become little morsels of flavor. All right, so that looks pretty good to me. I'm just gonna wash these hands a bit because I wanna keep the gloves on. Turmeric will really, really dye your hands yellow. Right, so with these limes, this is my plan. Cut up the lime. I'm making a tray out of lime. So the chook will sit on top of the limes. So really, I think I'll do, I reckon I'll do it that way. You'll want to just do a couple of those things. All right, now the other thing that you can do here, Frozen chippies. 
put them around the outside. Round the outside, round the outside. Because what happens now is the chips soak up the excess juice and they become like roast potatoes. I reckon that's plenty of chips. Just put a little bit of salt on the bottom. What I might do is chuck that chili in. That's what I'm gonna do. Turn it up into slices. Just chuck them around. Okay, I think the oven's ready to go. I'm gonna leave it in there for, let's go for 50 minutes. See what happens, wish me luck. That's in there now. I'll come back and we'll um, trade banana stories. What do you think? Let's just have a look at it. I would say about another 10 minutes. In the meantime, what I can do is make a salad. You like the salad? Let me make for you one salad. Iceberg lettuce, one bowl. Red cabbage, or as I'd like to say, purple cabbage. Purple's my favorite color. We don't need a lot, because we've got a lot of chalk. I really like the crunchiness of the cabbage. So I use both colors. Fine, crispy. So, iceberg. Let's chop that up. Some other. Take your time. There's no time, there's no reason to speed it up. Just take your time, look up your fingers, make love to the food, and get it all the way you want it. There's no hurry, especially when you're cooking yourself. The other thing is you want a couple of uh, cherry tomatoes. I only buy the cherry ones because it is easy, you know, and you don't waste. This is cooking for one, 101. Right, now, this stuff is God's juice. It's Koopi. No, that's just a brand. But what is this? It's a sesame sauce. It's a sesame dressing. You just kind of put a whack of that on it. And then you just mix that little bugger up like that. Take your time, Peter. No hurry. Oh! I reckon that's good. Look at the chips. That looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is chop it up, serve it to myself. So I like the leg bits. Perfect, perfect. Unbelievable. Chippies, yum, because they've got that crunchness in them now. Oh, look at this. Okay, what you want to do is get some coriander and garnish. Garnish, rinds with finish. There you go. What you have now is chick chick. Fabulous chick chick. Bombay chicken. The aroma is unbelievable. It's got that garam masala, oh, chili sort of curry flavor, and it's just to die for. Look at that. Got that, I've got my salad. Look at this. That's a meal for a chicken king. All right, well then try it out. You know, the cooking time, depending on the size of the chook. Yummo, I'll give you the verdict after I'm done. Okay, so what was the verdict? No, it was all right. <laughs> try cooking a chook. Don't be a sook, cook a chook. Take a look.